Good morning, everyone. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. Here we are again. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We're meeting again in this little corner of the corner of his vineyard here on the earth. And we thank you so much for coming. We love you guys. We pray for you every single day. And we thank you for praying for us and for the rest of the family of God. God is so good to us. We don't deserve his goodness. Nobody does. He is so good. Father, we thank you for being who you are. We thank you for letting us know you're there, you're here, that you love us so much, that you are perfect in all of your ways, that there is no shadow of turning in you, that you are the almighty God, and there are no other gods anywhere, anywhere that are your equal. There are a lot of wannabe gods. There are a lot of demons and fallen angels and people that want to be gods. But you are the one true God. There is no one like you, Father. We praise your name. Your name is beautiful. It's glorious. Your name is holy. Your name is perfect. You are the Word. There is no one anywhere like you. You are the set-apart one. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the one who says you will continue to labor with us until the return of our Savior. You are our provider, our comforter, our strength, you are our courage. You are our righteous right hand. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are one eternal round. There is no beginning to you and there will be no end. You are forever, everlasting God. Thank you, Father. Our words are so tiny and so inadequate to describe the beauty and the wonder of you. We do what we can, trying to come up with things to say that would bless you, Father. But the words of our mouth mean nothing if the meditations of our hearts don't match those words. We come to you in the name of our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the living word of God, the one who's called faithful and true, the one who is called wonderful and counselor and mighty God, the one who is called Prince of Peace, the one who is called Everlasting Father the Holy One of Israel. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love poured out. Thank you for your goodness, your mercy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray over all of these precious ones who will listen as they join us in this little corner of your vineyard here on the earth, no matter when it is. I pray over them all, and I know Chuck's in this prayer with me, that there would be peace poured out into hearts that are broken or troubled, that there would be comfort poured out for the ones who are grieving. Father, that there would be courage that rises up in your people 
for today and the days ahead. That those hands that hang down would be lifted up and that those knees that are feeble would be strengthened. Father, we ask you to bless us to consider every word that we allow to come out of our mouths before those words are released into the atmosphere. Help us remember that you said we're going to give account for every word we speak, every word. Oh, God, help us. We pray today also, as we come together as this part of your body, for all of those who will lay down their lives today in honor of you, those who will be martyred for the babies that will be killed, the children, everybody, the people and the animals that are tormented and tortured and abused. God, remind us to pray, not just for ourselves. That's so selfish, Father. Remind us to pray for others, to help where we can and to give where we can and to do what we can, but always, always, always to pray. Forgive us for the times we've been so selfish, our prayers have just centered around ourselves. Help us get outside of ourselves where we've gotten stuck there and help us stand up as part of your bride, your army here on this earth and go to war against the enemy, the devils and the demons and all of those things that have come to rob, kill, and destroy your creation. Lord, help us. If we don't know how to do that, Father, we ask you to help us know how. Show us. Teach us, God. You gave us the book. <laughs> Father, bless us to open it. Bless us to be hungry to open it and read it. And even as I say those things, I'm aware that sometimes the, uh, the hunger only comes because of persecution. But Lord, I remember you saying, if your eye offends you, pluck it out. If your hand offends you, cut it off. So if there are things that you have in store to help us wake up and get where we're supposed to be in our understanding and in our walks with you and our, res our responsibilities on the earth, then Father, let those things come. But honestly, we would rather fall on the rock than have the rock, Yeshua the Messiah, fall on us and crush us. So God, thank you for the reminders. Thank you for the, thank you for the correction. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the trials. Thank you for the opportunities. Thank you for the gifts and the blessings and the relationships with you and with other brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for the people that you bring into our lives that are difficult to love. Those are our greatest challenges and the most precious gifts. We thank you and praise you, Father, for your goodness in these things. Glory to the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the, of the world. Glory to your holy name, Father. There is none like you in all the earth. There has never been one like you in all of eternity. You are the one true God. You are the only, only, only God. The heavens bow down and worship and praise you. Bless us to bow down 
in humility before you and do and be what you've called us to. Thank you, Father. We pray over all of your people here in the vineyard and gathered around the world, wherever they may be found. Have your way, God. In the name of our Savior, Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, the Word of God, we pray. Amen. You guys, I'm going to do a video, I think, tomorrow. I think that's when it's going to come out. And it's going to be about martyrs. I hope that you'll listen. Be encouraged. God is good. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.